Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll review and talk about the new Apple product, the M2 Mac Mini desktop computer. I bought the standard 8 gig memory instead of the M2 Pro on purpose to see if I can do my day-to-day -day activities like video editing and sometimes gaming and then decide later on whether I should keep it or upgrade it to the M2 Pro. I've used it to edit my YouTube videos including this one and to play a few of my favorite games. I'll share with you all my week-long experience using the standard M2 Mac Mini desktop. Let's quickly unbox it and dive into the details. Now let's take a look at connections and expansion ports located on the back of the computer. It got one headphone jack. Next to that, there are two USB type A connectors. I tested and verified that these two ports can deliver seven watts of charging power and support up to five GBPS of data transfer. Next to that, it got one HDMI port which supports a display with up to 4K resolution at 60 Hz refresh rates. On M2 Pro, one display setup, we can get 8K resolution at 60 Hz or 4K resolution at 240 Hz. The move from 60 Hz to 240 Hz will provide a very noticeable gaming experience on M2 Pro. However, the 4K resolution at 60 Hz isn't that bad either. It should still be good for gaming. Uh, I personally wouldn't go for M2 uh, just for this purpose. Next, these two ports are USB Type-C uh, Thunderbolt 4 ports. These two ports can serve a number of purposes. One, they got up to 7.5 7 watts of power delivery to charge phones, iPads, tablets, or etc. Two, connects external storage to the PC uh, and provide up to 40 GPPS of data transfer. Three, they got support for native display output over USB-C to connect displays, which means when not using the HDMI port, these two ports can connect two displays, one 5K and one 6K displays at 60 Hz refresh rates. There is also a gigabit Ethernet port, which is configurable to 10 GB Ethernet port. Next to that is a 150 watt power input to the PC and a power on and off button. And to see how fast almost everything is on M2 mini desktop computer, watch the different speed tests I ran on the 2018 16 gig Core i7 MacBook Pro laptop and the 8 gig M2 Mac mini. Before deciding to purchase this PC, it's worth to know that the 
standard M2 Mac Mini can connect to a maximum of two displays at the same time. Uh, option one, using the two Thunderbolt 4 ports at the same time, or option two, using the Thunderbolt 4 and the HDMI ports. If you're looking to connect three displays to the M2 Mini, please consider buying the M2 Pro as the PC hardware in general is not upgradable. Lastly, I've used the 8 gig standard M2 Mac Mini for editing my YouTube videos and so far their performance has been amazing. And I feel like I've one of the best uh, desktop PCs. And I don't think I'll have any reason to upgrade it, upgrade it to the M2 Pro since I've been able to do my daily activities with much better speed and quality than the old 2018 uh, 16 gig MacBook Pro laptop. Please let me know y'all's experience with this PC in the comments below and if it is even worth it to go for the M2 Pro instead of the standard M2. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please thumbs up the video as it certainly helps the YouTube algorithm and makes a difference. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.